guys welcome or welcome back if you're already subscribed this is budget with jess and in today's video i'm going to be doing a budget with me for my technically it's my first check in march but i will explain to it further how i uh split up my check so if you're interested in this type of content go ahead and keep on watching okay so in today's video i will be um I will be budgeting i will be showing you guys kind of how i budget hopefully this is a good angle i have my calculator and my binders and i have my wallet and i have my calendar of everything that is supposed to be due um this is a google i think this is google calendar i don't like using the apple one um i feel like it doesn't show up how this one shows up in and i just like the like i guess the setup of this one better I will kind of explain to you kind of what everything is and how I do it. So, okay. So I get paid bi-weekly. So in order for me to even film videos or just actually to me, what I've been noticing is that um, when I split up my paychecks in half, it just helps me keep money at the end of the week. It's not so much not now more for the videos. Now it's that it keeps me kind of accountable. And also I don't run out of money at the end of like the two weeks. So I'm not like searching for money at the end, which I felt like it was my issue when I wasn't doing this. So now I split up my paychecks literally in half of whatever my paycheck is. And I do one week and then I do another week. So I usually get paid on Fridays. It's supposed to be on Fridays, but for the two bank accounts that I have, which is uh, Wells Fargo and Capital One, I end up getting paid earlier. Wells Fargo, I think a lot of banks are doing the get paid like two or three days earlier. So Wells Fargo actually pays me on Wednesdays and Capital One, I believe, pays me on Thursdays. So it's very hard for me to budget still on Fridays when I'm getting paid on Wednesdays and Thursdays, technically speaking. I think it depends also, they'll pay you that. It depends on the, um, on like on your job, if they have the, if they have the, um, check available already. So my job has, we're able to view our checks on the Wednesday before that Friday that we get paid. So I believe that's why I end up getting paid on Wednesday through Wells Fargo. I don't get paid in the morning, but I get paid like by noon and stuff. My paycheck is there. Now, if a holiday ends, I start like on a Monday of that week that our pay period ends. Um, our checks are not viewable on that Wednesday. They're usually viewable on like that Thursday. So then I won't get paid till Thursday. It doesn't really happen only in some holidays, which it, it's kind of rare right now. Um, it's only a couple of times a year. So right now I'm, I'm just budgeting as if I'm getting paid on Wednesday. So I'm not planning to leave Capital One and any at any, I mean, Capital One or Wells Fargo at any time at the moment. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to uh, budget it in that way. I'm sorry. This is like a very long intro. Okay, so I do kind of have to update some of these payments, but I will kind of explain to you how it goes. And this is how I do it. So I don't use like a... Uh, I, I have like the iPad, as you guys can see, I have the good notes app and all of that. I've tried doing that, but when it comes to the sinking funds, I feel like I never have enough room. So I just rather do it on the good old paper and pen type of situation. Um, it just, I can, you know, put all of my stuff that I need to put on and I can just rewrite it as many times as I want. And I just like writing on paper. It's, it's just my preference. Okay, so for this paycheck we're actually going to be uh i'm going to be budgeting from march 8th until the 15th since this i still have not updated this i do technically get paid on the 10th but i will have the money available on the 8th and i am filming this obviously on tuesday so just in order for me to get this video up tomorrow i am kind of eyeballing of what my paycheck should be um so there really isn't any like surprises or anything like that i don't really have like sick time like i worked my hours this last two weeks most of the, the time i know what i'm not going to get paid for so that's why i budgeted i budgeted like the lowest amount that i can and yeah i hope this works out for me
<laughs> I hope it doesn't and I don't mess it up. Okay, so for this week, we're going to be budgeting $733. So the bills that I have pending for this pay period until the 15th or for this week, I, I'm sorry. For this week, it's going to be um, QVC Ulta, which this is not my card. This is actually my cousin's card that I help her pay for. And I'm I'm canceling Spotify, so I'm going to take that out. And then my Wells Fargo credit card. And so because I usually, if I put anything in my Wells Fargo credit card, I usually make a payment for it. So there's not technically a payment due anymore on, the, on that time. So I'm not going to worry about that. So the only ones that I am going to have to be budgeting for is QVC. And in that one, it's not a credit card. I did like the... What was it like the easy pay or something like that got a dyson six months ago and this is actually my last payment so i'm glad that i'm almost going to be done with that one and yeah so this is this is just literally how to write it down so qvc we do 132 and then ulta i'm gonna do 100 so i will just add these two up 232 and then I just subtract 733 minus 232 so we have I always put a plus sign 501 left and that is all the bills for this pay period okay so then I like to go into my cash wallet that I have here and see how much money I have left um in my in my uh cash envelopes and see what I can work with what I'm gonna end up rolling over since today is Tuesday I'm getting paid tomorrow I already went grocery shopping this morning and did all of that so I don't need gas so I already ate dinner and so I'm not gonna be spending any more today so in gas I have because I, if I have enough left, I don't want to overgive myself. So I have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. So I have $37 and I technically have a full tank of gas. But I do work the next three days plus next week, two days. So I have 37. So I think I'm only going to give myself, let's see. I give myself I and I'm, and I'm gonna put gas at the end of this week on Friday so I'm gonna give myself 15 no I'm gonna give myself ten dollars okay so gas is gonna be ten dollars and like I said I have 37 right there I'm gonna give myself 10 I also, my job, I think I've got this question asked before. My job is literally five miles away. Five miles there, five miles coming back. And most of the time when I do work, I other than me going to the bank and maybe to the grocery store, which the grocery store is on my way home on the same street, and so is my bank, I don't really like going anywhere else after work because I'm tired. <laughs> so that's just me. So that's just that's why I also don't spend a lot of gas and I like to put it every week so that I don't let it go to empty because I get scared and not that I get scared so much but like um I don't want it to go to empty and then it's like a hundred and something dollars so yes so groceries now I did go grocery shopping today Hopefully, I'm going to try not to make this such a long video, but this might take some time. So I'll make checking to see how much money I have. For groceries, I have 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. So I have $71. I got enough food for myself. Hmm. Groceries. So I think, how much are there? Oh, let me check one more time. Sorry, guys. 71. Okay, I have $71. So 
I'm gonna give myself $50. And some of it, I will roll it over once I do my cash stuffing. So I won't keep all of it. Then eating out. I have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. I'm going to give myself $15. Let's see, personal, I think I only have four. So I do want to save some of this half of the paycheck for next week because I do have some events coming up. So for personal, I, I have $4 left in here. So I just might give myself... might give myself just five dollars and then miscellaneous I have 15 so I'm not gonna put anything on this one 15 should be fine and then fur babies They have 30, so I'm going to just put another 5 in here. Then family has $10. Gonna, we're not going to do anything. So 0. And then giving, I still haven't gave this away. <laughs> So zero dollars, and that's what I was out today. So let me just put this to the side. Okay, so let me add this up. 10 plus 50 plus 15 plus 5 plus 5 equals 85. So we have 416 left. Okay. So then we're going to go to our sinking funds and I don't need my iPad anymore for right now. Okay, so we're going to go to the brown one first and I like to see what I have, what I don't have and all that stuff. Okay, so Disneyland is left with $9 from what it had. Not planning to get a Disneyland until next week. So I'm going to leave that alone. Amazon's not going to get anything. Fur babies. They haven't gone to the vet. But let me check. At 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 210, 220. Five. So I'm going to put just $5 for there. And that's for their um, vet. But actually, I wanted to do something. Oh, 17. Hmm. So I do want to save. So actually, I'm going to put $20. 17. I'm going to put 17. So I also want to start saving for like their grooming so I'm gonna keep 17 that's gonna be in eight weeks and it's about 140 so 17 each week okay household has 10 I'm not gonna put anything beauty I'm not gonna put anything Costco this is for my membership 20, 30, 35, 40 45 I'm put two dollars. Toiletries. I found conditioner that I have here, so I'm not gonna put anything. Peel box. Oh no. I am. I'm not. I'm not gonna put anything. Peel box is gonna get. Fifty. 
the I think it and I think the renewal is 61 is due at the end of the month. But for today, I'm just gonna put three dollars. Hair, hair, it's just gonna get five piercings. It's gonna get five. Petty. It's gonna get three gifts. So my best friend's birthday is next Friday. So how much? Cutting it close then, cutting it close. I'm gonna put ten dollars in gifts. Events. I'm not putting anything. So, so let me see what they'll equal to. Seventeen plus two plus three plus five plus five plus three. So it equals forty five dollars. So we have. 371 left. So then we go into this binder. Okay, vacation isn't gonna get anything. Car maintenance, I'm gonna put five. Car tags. They're my P.O. box and I haven't gone to go get it. But I'm gonna put 10. So I'll I'll know this week how much it actually is and I'll figure it out for next week. Emergency fun. You guys are still in frame. I kind of messed around with the glue. Okay. Emergency. It's going to get five. It has right now. Yeah, five is fine. Pet. It's going to get five as well. Education is going to get 20. Medical. It's going to get five. And these are not set up mounts. This is just kind of what I'm coming up in my head. Dentist, because I haven't put anything on here. And these are kind of stuff that I wanted to put. Because right now this has just 15. It's going to get five. Buffer isn't going to get anything right now. Traveling, you know, Christmas. It's going to get five. Okay, so it will be five plus 10 plus five plus 20 plus 15. So it'll be 60. So we still have 311. Okay. So let's see. We'll go into my bills binder. So for the credit cards, and this is an envelope challenge, I'm going to do the next one and I'm going to do eight. And I think I'm going to put the whatever I have in here and plus the eight and I'm going to make an extra uh, payment for one of my credit cards. I don't I necessarily want to finish this just as long after I save up like a little bit of amount, I would like to make a payment. So $8. And then I think I'm going to leave it like that for right now. And then my other... So that so for that bill, it's only gonna be eight. 
So we have three o three left. Okay. So now we have self care. So I do want to save up for not save up, but I'm starting to get like waxing. So that's sixty dollars. She told me I have to go every. So it's ten dollars. So self is going to get 10. Family isn't going to get anything. This will be my cousin, my mom, and my tia. So my mom, my cousin, and my mom both get 10, and my tia's only $1. She is fine. And then we'll take away Mother's Day. We won't stuff it this week. This would be 21. So we still have 282 left. And I'm not going to use all of the 282 because I do want to leave some for next week's bill. So... Then we're going to go into my saving challenge. I have to change this one to March. So, this is not going to get stuck today. So, I'm going to do the, um, the mini one. I'm going to put $2 to restart it because I actually depleted, so not this one, but I depleted my cash back. I'll explain in another video of why I depleted them. But yeah, I did deplete them, but it's for a good reason. And then my $500 one, which this is um to save up for a for my car insurance in case of an accident, at least knock on wood, in case of an accident or anything, have the deductible and my deductible is $500. So I wanna save for that and then just put it in the bank and then just have it there just in case so I don't have to deep dip into my emergency fund or anything like that. And for this, we'll put $10 this week. And then this is gonna be for my cousin because I wanna take her to a winery and we're gonna put 30. Two plus ten plus thirty equals forty two dollars. And this will go into so there is still two hundred and forty dollars, and this will be as a buffer for next week. Just to have, because I think my bills are a little bit higher next week. So just want to put that out there. And then after that, anything that I need to cash stuff, I just put it on here on the side. It's just less, less, um, less to do. So for the bills, I'm actually, the old one's going to stay on there. The old one's gonna stay on there, but the QVC one. Let's see. The QVC one's gonna stay on there too, so I can just pay off the credit card at um once it it clears. Or no, I'll take I'll take it out. So it'll be one hundred fifty twenty ten five one. And this is where I really do mess up. So I hope I don't mess up. <laughs> So, 100, 20, 30, 1, 2. Gas, gonna get 10, just a 10. Groceries, 50, eating out, 10, 5. I'm not particular what denominations I need. It, it just makes it, it, it just makes it easier for me. Personal economy, 185, 60, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, all of it because this is where I mess up.
So we need $393. I added the, I added the 100 from Ulta and then what's going to go into the buffer and it's 733 and that's what we're that's what we were budgeting, so we're good. So now this has to equal that. So, plus 50, plus 60, plus 90, plus 75, plus 18. Oh, I got it right. I've never got this right on the first try. And then I have these little things, these little post-its. I don't know who I got this from. I do know I got them somewhere from Etsy. I will link them down below um, to see who they are because i do not remember the shop's name and this is what i literally use if i don't if i can't find this i'll just use a regular post-it and then that's for a total of 393 and there you go guys that is a quick budget with me i'm gonna try to edit this down as much as i can um i hope you guys enjoyed it i just want to say thank you so much i we have gotten so many subscribers ever since last week and i don't know what happened but so many of you are new here and are joining us and i just want to say thank you and welcome i hope you guys are enjoying this type of content if you guys have any ideas of any a type of videos that you would like to see please let me know down below again i appreciate you guys so much and i i'm just it's just crazy how many have gone up um since our last giveaway i am thinking of doing one small giveaway because i did say i wanted to do one every 100 followers so i might do one more since we're already past 200 um so i might do a, a small one it's gonna be very small but it is something that i do want to give away um and i will announce it in my next cash stuffing which will be for this week we'll be cash stuffing this and i will let you guys know all the details again thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for all the sweet comments that i've gotten especially on the my death confession videos also um thank you for all the well wishes on the my last cash stuffing video about uh my nursing school experience i really do appreciate it and i do read all the sweet comments again thank you so much and i will end it here because i am rambling on but i just want to say thank you i do appreciate you guys and just stick around there will be more thank you so much for watching bye